Is it just me? Or do you feel like there's an ice age in here? Wait, hang on a minute. Ice age is gone. I'm not having this. Oh. Oh. God, that hurts my eyes. Oh, that's a nice warm fire. Whew. Oh. I'm warm enough to do the video. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Chris Shadogs to Born, Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park Newsroom update. This is from Movie Park Germany and today we're going to be talking about Movie Park Germany's 2021 slash 2022 project. Now, this is set to be 2021, it could be 2022, you never know, they could delay it, however it's very likely to be 2021. This is replacing the Ice Age Adventure Dart Ride, the Intamin Dart Ride that last operated in 2017, uh, or at the end of 2016, should we say. And, of course, we're going to discuss what this could be. Now, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. And for now guys, let's get into another video. So this is from Ice Age Adventure, the Intamin Dark Ride at Movie Park Germany. Now this last operated at the end of the 2016 season and it lost its license ship after 10 years. And of course it became uh, extinct, like the Ice Age really. Uh, now we're going to talk about 2021. And we're going to talk about how there's been some construction fences going up and some latest updates going on. So before we get into that, let's talk about the ride itself. So Ice Age Adventure at Movie Park Germany. So this is manufactured by Intamin and this, my friends, is a dart ride. Now, this is a water-based dart ride around the animatronics. Now, this opened first in 1996 uh, as the Looney Tunes Adventure um, or the Looney Tunes River Ride, shall we call it. Uh, now, obviously, as the Looney Tunes River Ride, um, first opening as Looney Tunes Adventure on 30th of June 1996, and of course opened as Ice Age Adventure on the 19th of March 2005. Now, the closing date, of course, for the Looney Tunes Adventure version was 31st of October 2004. It's a free flow boat ride uh, designed by the Sanderson Group, and of course, uh, the Ice Age property moved in. Now, of course, in 2016, and this is a big thing to remember, in 2016 itself, um, we had the closure after several defects in the figures and peeling paint, and the whereabouts of the scenes, some animatronics, and the hall is unknown, and the tent of the waiting area still exists, has been used in the picnic area since the start of 2017. And, of course, since the 2017 season, the former attraction boats have been used in Bermuda Triangle Alien Encounter, which is, of course, the rethemed Bermuda Triangle attraction, also located in the park. Now, of course, uh, since the 2018 season, the hall of the former attraction on the occasion of the 20th anniversary of the Halloween event, Halloween Horror Festival, has not been thematized for the May's wrong turn of the film production of the same name from 2003. The old tent was used as a waiting area for the maze, which was equipped with cars from the streets of New York or the former Marinhof. The existing forest backdrops were su supplemented by a petrol station, ranger office and hotel. And there were special features that you can walk through uh, in, with an extremely controlled LED gas lamp and also the first maze in Monster Free Nickland. Now of course a year round use or further design of the hall is not planned before the 2021-2022 season according to Manuel Prosovitz, the marketing director. So looking at the teasers then, uh, we have Nogmere Hollywood in Deutland, Van Aft 2021. Now that's a teaser for the new ride, replacing it. Uh, there were some other pictures. If you look on Twitter for at Team Loopings, if you look on there for them, uh, there's pictures also of one of the wait the waiting area, the back of the building, uh, and another picture of the construction fence around the site. Now, obviously, I've put on your screen another picture that I found on site uh, with the construction fence. 
uh, just to give you guys an idea of what's happening now at the site in terms of the outside and what's being seen from the public eye. However, there's a real potential here that this could be a brand new dark ride system. Now, obviously, you know, this attraction has been closed for a few years. So apart from the maze stuff, obviously, we know uh, the work will have continued on. However, I think this could potentially be a brand new dark ride system. I don't think it will be an indoor coaster. I think that could be a long way off. Uh, we don't know exactly what theme they're going to go for yet. However, I, I don't even want to begin to guess what kind of themes they're going to go for. Uh, but in terms of dark ride systems, I want to take a look actually and sort of uh, try and come to some conclusion as to what Movie Park Germany could, could potentially add in. Now, I did say I wasn't going to suggest an indoor roller coaster. That is because you've got the show elements and the indoor, uh, indoor coaster Van Helsing's factory, which is, of course, the Gerstler bobsled coaster that opened years ago. So, obviously, they've got an indoor coaster, so they don't really need another one. I think this is going to be a brand new dart ride. Whether it's going to be a replacement of the old dart ride system or it's going to be a re-theme of the ride with a completely new look on the outside and the inside with the same ride system we still don't know but i think it could be very likely we could see a brand new dark ride system especially with the work taking place now when it says to open in 2021 um i believe it's spring 2021 as well so uh, i'm not sure on my german but i think van af is spring or summer one of the two uh, <laughs> but i think it's spring uh, i'm gonna guess it's spring i'm guessing i'm guessing a german uh but Let's have a look at some of the attractions that are already in Movie Park Germany and try and come to some conclusion as to what this could be. So, looking at the attractions already in Movie Park Germany, obviously you've got the uh, Gerstler Bobsled Coaster, Van Helsing's Factory, which I mentioned, so we know uh, deep down that it will not be um, a indoor roller coaster. But in terms of the dart rides, uh, you've got uh, Area 51 Top Secret, which is formerly Bermuda Triangle Alien Encounter. Uh, you've got the 4D Cinema, Looney Tunes 4D. Uh, you've got the Lost Temple um, as well, which is an immersive tunnel by Simworks. Uh, you've got um, Time Travel with John Cleese, Time Riders. It's a simulator ride that replaced the old Batman Aventure the ride, which operated from 1996 to 2004. Uh, obviously in Nickland you've got little kids attractions in there uh, over in the old west uh, you've also got um, the interactive laser walkthrough in Studio 7 which of course used to be home to uh, the Walking Dead breakout year round maze that operated within 2020 so I'm guessing that'll probably come back for 2021 as well you've got the Interman Rapids ride Excalibur Secrets of the Dark Forest which have got some uh, indoor bits there as well. So looking at this then, I think there's two types of co uh, uh, coaster? Dart ride? There's two or three types of dart ride that I could see come to this part. Now the first one is a Garmendale Motion Master Simulator attraction. Now look at Gangster Granny the Ride at Alton Towers uh, that's coming in 2021 now, of course not 2020, uh, but look at that as an example. You look at how the dark ride system there looks, you can go on Garmendale's website. Uh, it's not a secret that they can't work with European projects. They can work with European projects in European parks and attractions. Uh, so I'd like to see Garmendale move into the European market uh, and try and crack Europe, especially in Germany when they've got some good themed attractions in Germany that they could compete with. So, you know, it'd be a real market to crack, but I think Garmendale could be up for it. Another type of dart ride I could see is a trackless dart ride. Uh, you look at the ones at Motion Gate Dubai, uh, Hotel Transylvania as an example. Uh, you look at how that was set. I've seen the POV of that, by the way, that dart ride in Dubai. Oh, it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely world class, that dart ride. So I think something like a trackless dart ride made by the same people that did uh, Hotel Transylvania uh, or the... Uh, dart ride that could be coming into Legoland New York would be a nice example uh, but a third one could be a shooting dart ride now obviously they've got the interactive laser walkthrough attraction in Studio 7 that's scheduled to open this year in 2020 with the Ghost Hunters theme uh, so I don't think it will be a shooting dart ride purely based they've got a laser walkthrough attraction uh, the Garmendale dart ride system may not be a possibility because of the fact that obviously Garmendale is in Britain uh, and obviously they may not want to crack the European market again uh, this time. They, want, they may want to stay away for a couple of years or they may want to uh, try something different. So maybe Garmendale might not have the ride system that Movie Park Germany are interested in buying. So maybe the trackless dart ride may not be a bad suggestion. Now that leaves me with two 
realistic final predictions for this attraction. Either they keep the same ride system and they just refresh it all with a brand new original theme or an IP, could be an IP, uh, but I would like to see an original theme, thank you very much. But no, but no in a movie park, I think it would be some kind of IP uh, they'll sign a license for. And IP seems to be the big hot ticket at the minute in the in industry, so um, obviously DC, uh, Marvel, Disney, Universal, um, you know, Netflix, obviously with the Black Mirror Labyrinth at Thought Park. Um, and all these different, you know, TV channels and books and films and games. <laughs> They're going to turn games at some point. We're going to see a Silent Hill Dark Ride or a, a Resident Evil Dark Ride at Thought Park or something. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, but IP seems to be the hot meal ticket at the minute. So I think they could go with an IP. It very could be an IP. Uh, but I'd like to see them go with an original just to see what they do with it. Uh, so they could refresh the whole same ride system and refresh it to be a completely new attraction with the same ride system, or they take out the ride system, and of course, you know, we'll get a clue as to what they're doing with the ride system, whether they're replacing it or keeping it, if we see parts of the track for the old ride system stored away in a car park at the back somewhere in a few months, you know. We'll know then, you know, or if we see pictures of people taking out old ride system parts and taking them out, and people picture them taking them out, then we know for certain that the ride system is going to be replaced with a brand new ride uh, by itself a completely new ride system uh, so they could keep the same ride system or if they are replacing the ride system I could see a trackless dart ride look at Antarctica Empire of the Penguins at SeaWorld look at how brilliantly that looks in terms of a trackless dart ride I would like to see that done now obviously Ice Age Adventure is the IP that they are uh, replacing uh, with this brand new attraction for 2021 uh, so, even though it's nothing to do with Ice Age, I'd like to see them maybe go with that ice theme. And, I, and if they're going to use some kind of ice theme or some kind of Arctic theme, uh, but away from the Ice Age IP, uh, not using the Ice Age IP in any way and just refreshing the Arctic theme, I would look, in terms of research, and I'm sure they probably have, they're going to go for a trackless start ride, I would look at Antarctica at SeaWorld as you know, primary research. Uh, and you can look at other trackless dart rides as well, the Hotel Transylvania one, uh, Emotion Gate Dubai, that's another one for primary research. Look at the different theming items they use for trackless dart rides, the projection mapping, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure that's gonna be going in at Epcot in 2021, and it's already in at Disneyland Paris. That is another prime example of how to do a well-themed, immersive trackless dart ride experience. So, I know Movie Park Germany, whatever they're going to add in, whether it's a trackless dart ride, an indoor coaster, a shooting dart ride, a motion simulator, whatever's going in that building, I'm sure they've done the research. I know what they want to do. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone wants Movie Park Germany. Obviously, Movie Park Germany, they know what they're going to do. So, hopefully, we see a nicely themed attraction that's going to be pulled off. And like I said before, I'm not even going to try and guess the theme. But if they do go for an Arctic-themed trackless dart ride away from the I Ice Age brand and the Ice Age IP that they got rid of, Antarctica, as well as the other trackless dart rides in the world, would be my primary research. So... Very, very interesting stuff coming in from Movie Park Germany there for your latest updates. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this Theme Park Newsroom update. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Chal, Keelan on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.